Hey, what's up? It's Mark Orlando from Adrenaline Mob and Stereo Satellite. This lesson, I'll be revisiting percussive tapping. It's a technique that is a little different than your basic uh, two-handed tapping technique because you have to be a little more staccato with the feel. The right hand has more of a punch to the notes and uh, the left, the same thing because they're both going at the same time. So we're trying to keep it clean. So it has that staccato feel. Um, this lick, I'm going to start off with uh, a chromatic. It's in sixth from the G to the E string. So I'm um, bopping back and forth from the G to the E. And we're going to move these in uh, chromatically down the neck, three frets apart. And uh, I'll do it fast. And then let's break it down and I'll show you what's going on there. So what we have going on is the left hand, fretted hand, is doing a constant two note pattern. Again, hitting it hard and coming off to get that staccato feel. And it's just doing that same thing down chromatically. The right hand is tapping the notes. Hard staccato, hence the percussive tapping. So when you put them together, you try and keep it clean, get that nice kind of stabbing effect to it, and I'll do it slow. You could also take this technique and apply it to minor pentatonic uh, shapes and scales. And you could do this in any scale. Um, I'll show you in uh, F sharp minor pentatonic. All right, now we're going to take it a step further, and I'm going to do the same pattern in the same scale, but I'm going to add notes on the top end, on the E string, and kind of go from the high A to the G sharp to the A to the B and move around and then back down like I did the other scale. Okay, so I'll break the lick down slow and show you the pattern of the moving high notes on the E string again. A, G sharp, A, B, and so forth. So for the last lick, I'm going to revisit kind of like the first lick. Uh, it's based on sixths and it moves diminishedly. So it's the same type of percussive tapping pattern. Left hand fretted. Same thing. And then the right hand moves and adds the diminished notes. So I'll do it up to speed and then do it slow. So here's the lick slow. Again, left hand. Same type as the first lick, and the right hand's going to move, creating the diminished scale.
So now that you've heard the technique, there is an endless amount of licks you could do and ways to move it around different scales, different chords, different patterns and make it as musical as you like, follow a vocal pattern, anything you like within a song that you're doing. Um, and again, any key against any chord, move it around and just make it your own.